made it to Canada. I like, I like the idea. Cheers to Canada. My ride or dies, my trip buddies. Hey. My little yeah. Hello from Calgary. <laughs> I'm at my hotel right now. I left the slow pokes, the late risers, up at the room. We just got in last night super late at like 11 p.m. We arrived at the hotel and we got a beer over there. So they have this stampede coming up and ugh, I was so pissed actually. I kind of knew about it, but I forgot to let them know when they were booking the ticket. So unfortunately they leave the day before the stampede starts. I'm actually like thinking like, should I stay later and go to the stampede by myself? <laughs> I literally just love Houston though, where they have a stampede. It's crazy, but I don't know. I want to go to one in Calgary because it's fucking Calgary in Canada and I'm excited to be here. I've never been here. Um, but yeah, I am waiting for my Uber. I'm going to go to the airport, pick up the car. It's like 8 a.m. And then we're going to stop in Canmore. That's the plan to like walk around there probably today a little bit, just like grab some food. Um, and then we're going to head on the Icefields Parkway and head to Jasper tonight and stay in Jasper. So. I'm excited. Oh my God, I can't believe we, well, I planned this in <laughs> like three days. I think I compiled a good itinerary um, and something affordable because it's notoriously freaking expensive here. It's insane. Right now it's like the long holiday weekend. So it's Canada day. The prices kind of went down today. So that's why I didn't get like a car last night. Oh God, I'm just all, but yeah, I'm excited. Okay, let's do them. Something about you know your car insurance plan and your whatever. And... Just make it made it to Canmore. I keep wanting to say Janmore because Jan is like Turkish. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. Last time I was at a place like this, it was like the Italian Dolomite. Go in front of me, filming you. In, in here, Lamar, it's literally here. Shush. No, stop talking about it. My God. When I was in Turkey, it's about that. I paid for the T-Mobile high-speed thing, right? The thing is, like, I could have just paid for a sim somewhere else for the same price, and then this wouldn't have happened because it would have been on the T-Mobile network. It's like 21 degrees. Told you to bring thermal. When is it ever summer here, dude? Yeah. <laughs> it's a TP. RCMP. Wait, the police barracks? I haven't heard about the RCMP. I haven't seen any police. Oh my god, Canmar is gorgeous. Um, we just got some food in town and we're about an hour out of Banff. Um, and then I think our first stop will be Pato Lake Lookout and then we'll make our first and only real hike of the day. I think it's gonna be a quick like four mile, four mile round trip um, hike. I'm hoping we spot some wildlife because I really want to, so look at this. Look at this thing. Budget surprised me. We got like an upgrade. So cute. All right, hurry up. Turn left onto Palliser Trail. Signs for Alberta 1 West Banff. Just In 400 pass. meters, make a U turn. I'm on the way to Banff. Well, see what like there's like two parking lots of the second one and there's like it's supposed to be for buses but cars are parking here so i 
first hike of the day. Pato Lake viewpoint. I think it's supposed to be about half a mile. So, no big deal. Just got my little Salomons. <sighs> well, this is Bow Summit. I hope we're at the right hike. No, they see him. He's for sure about to get hit They see him. All right, let's get started. I want to sit there. No, you don't. Yeah, maybe I should get the, I, should, I need to put the knife in my hand, so I do see the bear. Oh, God. Well, I just had a puff, so I'm feeling good. Well, come on, wait. <laughs> I don't know. I left it in the car. So we're about to get started on our first real hike of the day. Parker Ridge, first and only. We came, I think, at a pretty good time. It's, quite late so we're like kind of cutting it close to sunset and getting into camp um but i think we will make it and the trail is empty and from the look of the parking lot i think it was way busy earlier because there's like a uh, car parked like really odd near the street so i'm guessing it was full earlier so listen everyone's shares to be first get there really early but if now everyone knows so you get there early you're gonna be in a crowd of people now a day so get there just late enough oh my gosh so much snow it's a little slippery but luckily i have my hiking poles they didn't want to bring theirs yeah it was probably, I don't know, ruined. So apparently we just like went all the way up here through the, the snow for no reason. And this is actually the path right here. So it's fine. Yeah, see the beginning, the transition to the beginning is the best part. Oh, that is good. That's what I said. They're looking at it like that. Look. Okay, look yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, what's coming? Just that's me. up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. First hike is a wrap. That was really beautiful and definitely worth squeezing it in before camp. And I actually just realized that camp is closer than I thought before. So we are going to head to camp. Should take about 10 minutes. There, I think it's like an hour until sunset. And yeah, see you at camp. Let's go, I'm hungry. Don't slam the door. Oh my gosh, her boots are so dirty. We have to drag her out. Yeah. There's an African who's been living in California. Oh my so gosh, like, you can't say African and Canada. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta think. The only place she's ever been camping is uh, Hawaii, Maui, so, you know. Oh my so gosh, that sounds so spoiled. I know, that's what I'm saying. She's spoiled. <laughs> that sounded so privileged when you just said that. First night, all right, I guess, except for the little bit of wet that came in. 
Actually, literally the bottom of my suitcase is soaked. I mean, my suitcase, my sleeping bag. Anyway, gonna go get some coffee and then head out just, just back to Banff. We just got to Jasper. We camped in Jasper. And now we are going back to Banff eventually. I think we might do like, see like one thing out here, go to a coffee shop, get the views. Maybe stop by the glacier, maybe. You probably can't even hear me because of this freaking river. I probably like can't even hear myself. Probably should have gotten my microphone. Oh well. Subtitle? <laughs> this sleeping pad is legit. I was like falling off one side or the other, but it's like Really? I mean that's with all sleeping pads though. I always find like you need to stay in that position. Yeah. That's your first experience, but like from a person who's tried like two, three different and two, three different locations, yeah. this is the best. Like I actually slept. Like it's crazy. Speaking of which, yeah, so uh, warmth was like warmth was like I feel like in the beginning of the night, first of all, I think there's a hole at the end of my sleeping bag. So my feet zip, were cold. Yeah, no, it, I didn't know how to yeah. and I was really sleepy. Yeah, you gotta zip it, you gotta finish zipping this. This red side zips around. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah, God. Okay, it. yeah. So that kept my feet freaking cold at the beginning of the night. I put my hat on my feet actually. <laughs> actually, that worked. Not that it's getting better. It's gonna. It's taken like four camping experiences, but I think I finally found the recipe. Almost. Just have your brother buy you everything. have to be here we're going up to the lodge right now to get a coffee um it's a hotel but it's probably like super expensive so uh, we camp just right next door at the columbia ice fields uh campground um this is the glacier view lodge so we're just going to go have like a coffee or something before we start our day there's tours up to the glacier you can take like a a tour bus but i don't think we're going to do that Starbucks game. Yeah, so there's not much to see there. I feel like it's just like a nice pit stop slash oasis. There's a hotel there if you're staying there. If not, you come here to get the glacier tours um, at the bottom. And then there's like a Starbucks, there's a cafe, and there's a nice restaurant that had, I don't know, I guess it looked like a decent menu. It was beautiful, but yeah, we just got Starbucks. I'm doing it on purpose. Not that you just don't have practice. Oh, wow. So that's the viewpoint for the upper falls. And we are going to see the lower falls. Let's get to it. Dora the Explorer. to Jasper. We're just gonna probably like drive around. And, and this will give you a stuff. quicker, uh, a closer view anyway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're just gonna do a drive by around the town. It's really cute. It seems like a huge version of Canmore. We're pretty much just like the, the mountain town thing. And oh my goodness, we found out by going into the gift shop that there was an accident 
actually right outside of Parker Ridge, which is crazy, that happened this morning and uh, around, they said it happened around nine this morning and still around like 1 p.m. it was closed, the road was closed, Icefields Parkway, so we couldn't even get to Banff. So we came from like Icefields all the way to Jasper to get some gas, which we need to do anyway, is the closest at that point. Um, but they said they should be finished by three. What is it now? It's three right now. So I don't know. I'm looking at, um, it's like Alberta 511 is like the information site. So we'll see if that's cleared up. And then if so, we'll head back to Bay. Oh. That is so cute. This little like railway. It's a beautiful town. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the Banff Airport. Let's go see what it's That one was really cool. I definitely think that if you um, had your fair share of visiting waterfalls, like we kind of did, there's so many, um, and you had to choose between like Sun Mukta and Athabasca, definitely choose Athabasca. Like the viewpoint is enough and you can get like, it feels like closer than Sun Mukta. We camped at T-Jack Lake last night, but it was pouring down raining when we came in. So we actually decided to sleep in the car. <laughs> it is about 6.45 a.m. right now, and we are headed over to Lake Louise. It's about 50 minute drive, but we wanna get there really early because we hear that the parking lot gets really packed at Lake Louise because it's like one of the most popular hiking areas, um, hiking bases, I guess. We're actually camping there tonight, so that'll be good. After the hike, we're going to just set up camp. So we'll be more prepared, and hopefully it doesn't pour down raining over there today. But, oh my god. Yeah, T-Jack Lake is worth it. We couldn't tell last night, but definitely, if you aren't already, which you should be, getting up really early. Definitely get up early, no later than like 7, and see the lake turns into like this mirror. It's really pretty. And you can see like the fog moving slowly. And you can see me taking selfies and talking to my camera. <laughs> this is spot 47. This is pretty good. It provides like lake access. It's not really like waking up on the lake, which I thought. Maybe there is like a place, but who knows. You have to return the permit? I'm serious. That's weird. Why is the registration stuff on the culture? Oh, wow. Well. Oh, this is where we're going. BT dubs. not too busy here and this is at, like one of the more popular restaurants so it's not bad I think there are a few maybe like I don't know 10 tables filled inside it's a little chilly but it's not too bad it's good enough to sit outside yeah they have covered 
Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. This mix, I'll be right back. I kind of knew it would. I'm not gonna lie, I knew it would. <laughs> I don't know, they're so cute. Do you want a subway? Do you want a subway? Yeah. <laughs> uh uh, why do you play Bia and Bamf? It's sad. I'll take you there. Mind if I pick up a Sasquatch? We had just arrived at Lake Louise. It's gonna be a nice hike. We've got a good four, four and a half hours, depending on like where we stop. And yeah, parking is definitely full right now. It's 2:30. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so decent. As you can see, it's a really nicely paved trail, but it's a little steep, but definitely not the steepest. Oh, wow. People must feed these chipmunks all the time. Uh huh. They coming right up. They're not even afraid of people. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's see if they stand up there on the hind legs like this. She's like talking to it. Yeah, I'm just picture. I'm just saying, the chipmunk just sitting there like. She's talking yeah. to the chipmunk. So I thought that you have to pass a little beehive to get to be big beehive, but it seems right at the tea house. Little beehive is up and big beehive is straight. Oh, uh, look at us. <laughs> <laughs> So we came past a big beehive and we wanted to see the split lake view. So we're attempting to make devil's thumb. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way. Uh, I think we're like not too far. However, it's just getting late and yeah, not good being out in the mountains, especially on a very steep switchback when it's late. Definitely not many people doing this one. I did meet some, a couple of Azer uh, people that did it. And yeah, they said it took them a, a while from Big Beehive and it was really sketch, which is kind of a little sketch, so. Good morning. Oh God, I don't know why I'm so chipper. It's our last day today. I slept in the car again and they slept in the tent. I'm about to go wake them up right now actually because we camped at Lake Louise. One little tip with you Lake Louise, it doesn't, they don't have fire pits over here. So that's, that's really annoying. Just had to let that off my chest. We're at Lake Louise, so we're right by Moraine Lake, which means we will get priority with parking if we hurry up. It's about 6 a.m. right now, and then we're gonna head into Calgary. Wake up. Hurry up. So it is 6.50 a.m. Yeah, Moraine Lake is already full. Uh, we 
just got back out of Banff and we came back and the mural is finished. In Calgary, I'm back in Calgary. <laughs> Downtown Cali. Well, it's not downtown. Uh, I don't even know what district this would be. I don't know. No, it has to be like a district or something. I'm sure. Calgary. Brother, he just gave me his Amex for the flight. <laughs> Here in his views, could people watch? It looks comfortable. It looks really comfortable. Yeah, it's quiet, clean, modern, sexy. Yeah. Trying to get a mimosa? Yeah. I ain't it. So, I mean, I will say it's kind of like all together, which I guess is not. Ten more minutes, and the trip is over. Boo. Chip? Uh, it was alright. Oh, thanks. Great. <laughs> uh, How was the trip? Um, it was amazing. Hey, let's go see. see she <laughs> knows the deal. <laughs> Bye, guys. This looks amazing. Lunch just came out to be stoked up. Not too bad here. Bye bye, Canada. It's been real.